in the last example here, so this was the calculator that we built. Um, we didn't need to actually import any additional libraries. Um, if I do the words like um, import, and then we go random here. So now we have access to um, a random number generator. And what we can see is we can see the import system. Uh, it's in a module. So you can pull in a bunch of different packages and each package is going to give you uh, some functionality that uh, you previously would not have. So I can go random, you see random is available. So there's random and now I can use the dot notation. And so you can see over here, this value is just six. It's just set at six. Um, if I come back in and let's just say, uh, do this again, you can see now we've got a random a number over here that's now at 54. All right, same thing would happen if we do this again. So our logic for a random number is kind of already completed. See right there, we got 72. Actually, what I really just need is I just need to inform the user of what's kind of going on. And uh, and then you can also just uh, give an empty space uh, just by doing this. Um, all right, so good. We've got, uh, we're informing the user what to do, and then we've got a random number. We know that the random number's right here, and here's the input, and we've also got an additional space. Um, name, I'm just gonna put, um, we're gonna do an input, and here we're gonna put, um, what is your name? So if we do this uh, while loop right here, uh, I'm just going to take the code snippet. Uh, this came with the Python extension. So I'm going to go while, and it's asking me for an expression. So what do we need to check? We need to check if the guess, what the folks are actually guessing um, over there is actually equal to the, um, the random number. Equal to here, and we're going to pull in an input. And we're going to put, you know, um, guess a number. Uh, we're going to reassign. Let's go guess equals. Um, we're going to take an int. And we're going to go guess underscore text here. And I'm sure we can refactor this to make it a little bit better if we want to. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to see um, uh, if the guess is too low if they guess something outside so maybe they guessed um, a negative 22 um, we can also do um, if it's too high so if the guess is too high so too high or too low and then finally we need to check to see if they guessed it right okay those are the three main things we need to go check for. It will complain, as I showed you or showed some of you the other day. <laughs> um, we're gonna hit tab here. And so what are we gonna do now is that uh, we're just gonna go, we're gonna keep it simple. Uh, guess was too low, okay? We got our first one in, right? And so now we could do an else if Thankfully, I can do my tab, uh, and it'll help me out just a little bit with it. And so this time it would be if the guess is greater than the random number. And what would this get me? Uh, this would get me another print statement. Uh, and this, we're just going to keep these super simple. Uh, guess was too high. So it's going to keep running through this. And what we will finish up with here is a print uh, and then we're just going to say something like game over does anybody guess where there's another one? Oh no I actually put it on that one <laughs> okay uh, let's save this and let's go here and let's go run okay four the number is too low uh, we're going to go six numbers too low we're gonna go 
it's too high. So it's going to be between 40 and 45. So we can go 41, 42, 43, 44. And guess what? We got it right. We assigned uh, the random number to using that random library that we just imported. So there's random, random dot, rand int, and it starts at zero and you can go up to 100. We're going to put these uh, brackets uh, in here. And so this is going to be a placeholder for some text. Um, you, your, and so we'll pass in two things here. We're going to pass in a format of your name and then we're going to put in what they guessed. So the guest uh, text here. Okay. We're going to pass this in there and this time we're going to put to ha. Ooh, okay. So uh, let's try this now. Uh, we're going to go here again, another control F five. Okay. So name is going to be Twitch chat. A number is going to be 50. There we go. I'm sorry. It works. Yeah. So, um, actually, so right here we could do, uh, we could do this, um, right here. Guess a number. Um, we could do that, uh, down here. Uh, yeah, I think we got these two. Okay. This one, you got it right. Give some, uh, give some additional like, woohoo. Uh, and then print, uh, we're just going to do game over. So we could keep counting how many times they've guessed an actual number there, right? Increment it with each guess, then say guessed in X number of moves. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to like this right here. What does everybody else think? Uh, go here. We could go number of guesses. We're going to start this at zero, right? And then each time we go down through this, um, so uh, where it guesses here, we're just going to go um, number of guesses so we can add in here uh i'm sorry the name your guess was and the guess is going to be um, whatever they entered and it is too low times number of guesses right and then we're going to come back here we're going to do the dot format and we're going to go in number of guesses here and uh, let's uh, let's save that file. Let's come back. Let's go run, run without debugging. Um, here's the actual number. We're going to give it this name of like um, Michael here. We're going to guess a number. Let's go with uh, like 56. Okay. I'm sorry, Michael. Your guess is 56. It's too low. All right. So we're going to go 44. I'm sorry, Michael, uh, 44 is too low. You've guessed two times. And so I'm just going to keep using a couple of different numbers here. So yeah, you can see how many times it, it guessed. And then the correct number was going to be 69 here. So we're going to go 69 and you got it right in eight guesses. Okay.